Hey YouTube, so there's been a pretty big announcement made about 20-30 minutes ago and I was getting the stream and I just thought I'd make a video let you guys know what's happening. Um, so it's about the Ultimate Fighter and for this tough, uh, tough 13 it's going to be a heavyweight uh, competition and it's the two coaches are going to be Brock Lesnar and Junior Juni Santos. Um, now there's a lot of rumours very recently, I just watched a video today uh, with an interview with Rani Couture, asking him about whether he th uh, what he thinks of the rumours that Brock was going to retire. Obviously these aren't true. Um, he, Brock, for all, all the information we've been getting, he's not really been in training camp much, he's been taking a lot of time away. Um, but we definitely know now that he's coming, he's coming back to stay and he's fighting the number one contender. And it's I've looked on Wiki and the winner of this fight apparently... Uh, gets the shot at Cain Velasquez after he recovers from his injury in about six months. Um, the fight, I'm just looking at, I've got some notes, the fight between Junior and Brock will be sometime in June 2011. Um, so it's, the film is going to take about six weeks, then after that uh, we're going to get at the fight, so looking forward to that. I think it's going to be an interesting tough, tough gets a lot of bad press, like after the first one they're saying it turned into like, it always has been a reality TV show but it's turned a bit weak sauce lately, but I always like them, they're entertaining, and I think these coaches are going to add a lot to the show, you know, uh, Brock, quite a reclusive guy, I think it's going to be quite interesting seeing how he copes, um, the fight's going to be pretty good, you know, we've got Brock, obviously the former champion, losing to Cain Velasquez, um, his last fights, um, the Rennie Couture fight, winning the belt, uh, the rematch against Frank Mir, which he won, and the Shane Cowan fight, which he won in the second round. Um, I think it's going to be interesting to see Brock fight again. I'm not sure how well he's going to do. You know, he um, he beat Mir convincingly, he beat Randy convincingly, Shane not so, setting up the um, the pathway for which Kane was supposed to follow. You know, we, we saw from there that, you know, if you can get Brock and you can hurt him and you can outstrike him, then you can put him away. And all you've got to do is not gas and just keep hammering away at him and he's going to go down. You know, he's not a technical striker. We all knew this. And Brock's one of those guys where it seems he's great moving forward when he's got you hurt, but he can't take punches. And he's just, it seems right now that he's just a big guy and he can, he can take a couple of punches, but not consistently and this once he gets hurt he just covers up and waits for his gas out and he did show heart in the Kane Shane Cowan fight you know coming back he was hammered and he still came back and carried on fighting but you know his last two fights that he's had he's got hurt both times so you know a couple of question marks there um then we've got Junior DeSantos he, um he's 12 and 1 uh, his only loss coming by armbar uh, in 2007, so you know, a long time away uh, ago. Sorry, he's put on seven back-to-back -back wins so far. The number one contender in the division. He beat uh, Vadum um, in 2008, um, which was the last loss that Vadum have. And for those of you guys that don't know, Vadum just beat Fedor. Fedor, um, just Google him, and he was. Large, I believe, by a lot of people to be the number one heavyweight of all time. Many people say the number one mixed martial artist of all time. He's on, he's not really fought in the UFC. Well, he hasn't fought in the UFC. He's fought like people like Tim Sylvia, who were in the UFC, but he's n never signed. So we've not really had a chance to pit him against you know the well. Many people said Lesnar, but obviously you know he's less relevant now. But Anyway, he was believed to be one of the best fighters of all time, so, you know, great feather in DeSantis' cap there. Um, eight of his wins have come by knockouts, um, but he is a brown belt in jiu-jitsu, so, you know, we've got his jiu-jitsu against Lesnar's wrestling pedigree, but when it gets to the fight, you know, I don't really see this fight going to the ground. I think but Lesnar's going to come out, you know, hulk out and just try and storm through Junior. And just hurt him and just stay on top of him, basically. To Santos, I can see him picking his strikes more, you know, being a more technical fighter. And if he does that, he has, I think he has a chance against Lesnar. Um, 
it all depends on whether whether Lesnar clips him. That that seems to be the way with Lesnar's fight. If it hits you and he hits you hard, he wins. Otherwise, you know, he gets in trouble. And if you don't gas out, which Lesnar's a big guy, so DeSantis is going to be able to go for longer, 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 and his cardio is going to be better, and he doesn't really need as much energy to move around, you know. So we'll, I can see this fight going either way. At the minute, I'm leaning more towards the Santos, but that's going to be an interesting fight later on in the year. Um, really looking good for 2011, for good quality fights. Um, the way the series goes, I think it's going to be quite interesting, you know, seeing who's the better coach, who who can pick the better guys. And I think it's just going to be a fun series, and I'm really looking forward to it. So leave me a comment, guys. Let me know what you think. Are you excited for for this um, upcoming tough? What do you who do you think's gonna win? You know, give, give me some predictions. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say I can see Junior, Junior's guy, you know, winning the ultimate final. Um, I don't know. I just I have a feeling. I think he's the smarter guy. He. He doesn't rely too much on his strength, so I think he'll be able to be the better coach. But that's just my opinion. Tell me what you guys think. Um, please remember to subscribe to the video. Remember to like the videos. You know, you know, you've been through this all before. You know what, what I'm going to say. Um, it just it it helps me in the long run, guys. Getting more views, and that's what we want. So see you around YouTube.